why Biafrans will suffer if they gain a republic, Joe Ibokwe reveals. You are bluffing. You are bluffing, Joe Ibokwe. Yes, I say so. I say you are bluffing. Because there, there, is no, there is no truth in your mouth. That there, there is no truth in your words. You have never said anything with, 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 with reality. All that you have been saying, everything you have been saying, have been centered on lies. What fact do you have to present to say that Biafrans will suffer? <laughs> You are the only evil man that I see that is saying what that is saying this. Oh, I have never seen an evil man that will open his mouth and say Biafra will suffer. Out of 199 are envious of Biafrans. Why the remaining are afraid? Because they 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 know they are going to suffer if Biafra if Biafra leave. They know that hunger will kill them because the evils are the ones feeding them. I have a Yoruba friend who told me that, please, my friend, once it is time for the Biafrans to leave, alert me because I cannot wait to join them. I'm telling you for real. See, this is our studio. Right from this very studio, we, I am telling you that this is what was said. He said... Alert me. The, the, according to the guy, the guy said that where he is working now, he said, the way I am working is owned by an Igbo man. That's what he told me. He said, this place is owned by an Igbo man. And, and aside from where I am working, in other places, in other places, like in, in the other shops, it is also owned by an Igbo man. He said, he said, you can be able, you, you, you can count the number of shops that is owned by the Eurobars. That the Igbos are the major business owners and, and they are the people that employ the highest numbers of people. Hmm, my dear viewers, what are we saying? Why can't we tell ourselves the truth? Why? Why can't we tell ourselves the truth? Yeah? Since I've been broadcasting on Joe Ibokwe, I've never, I've never smelled anything reasonable from him. He hasn't said anything reasonable. Look at it throughout yesterday on the media. You were just ranting on the media. I'm telling you, I can't believe what what was coming from Joey Bokwe. Seriously, you can't believe it. So, my dear viewers, it is not a joke and it's not a play. It's reality. And whenever he's saying all of these things that he's talking about. Is always serious. Let's look into the content and know what is actually talking about. I have been thinking about the issue of Biafran as a nation for a while. Do you think they will really actualize this Biafran freedom in this country? Do they have any reasonable knowledge of what? it would take for them to actualize this Biafran freedom. Now, what shall be the resident status of the Igbos in Nigeria after secession? They will be classified as an illegal immigrant, both in the southwest and northern Nigeria. Let's look at some of the big cities, Lagos, Abuja, Kano, Kaduna, Ibado, etc. How many Igbos do we think are actually living in those places? More than 50% Igbos don't live in Eastern Nigeria. They are hard-working individuals, which I really love about them. But thinking about the future of them being jobless 
if they are allowed to cede core for concern. I can't imagine that Nigeria will allow over 20 million Igbo to remain with them after secession, especially in the beginning. Now, can the Southeast cope with influx of over 20 million jobless and hungry Igbos? I foresee that there shall be an humanitarian catastrophe which would be the highest that the world have never witnessed although i meant by wrong with my assertion maybe nam the canon has already planned a secret means to wait away his catastrophe that before them before undergoing and pursuing his mission which may seem impossible thank you for listening to this news um you see just like i said before and i'll still say it again joe ibukwe should not be listened to it should not be listened to because i don't i don't see anything i don't see anything serious coming out of what he's talking about i don't see anything serious in what he's talking about because you see um nigeria as a whole knows that once Biafran break away, once Biafran relocates, I'm telling you, Nigeria will be a desert. And Joe Ibukwe is always capitalizing on this word, investment. Investment. He is talking to himself. That is what I want you to know. If Joe Ibukwe is telling you all this, he is talking to himself. And anything he's doing, he's doing it because of himself and not because of you. So don't ever believe Joey Bukwe. Don't ever believe him. He's always capitalizing on investment. That is his own problem. That is his own problem because he, he's someone that only thinks about himself and not about other people. He doesn't want to know if you are existing. If you are existing, he doesn't want to know. That is Joey Bukwe for you. That is what that is in for you and what other people. Your existence doesn't matter to him. It doesn't matter to him. I'm telling you, it doesn't. You understand? And that is why we must not listen to people of that such and of that kind. Alright? So, my my dear viewers, I crave your indulgence to please come in at least. Let me hear from you and know what your opinion is about all this. If you are new on this channel, deem it free to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.